Roosevelt was a rich patrician, of course, during the Great Depression, yet he was elected an unprecedented four times to the presidency. Hillary Clinton struggling with her own aura of wealth as she tries to frame herself as a warrior for the middle class. In fact, last week, the Washington Post, Dan Baltz, who's a smart guy, wrote, quote, Clinton can talk all she wants about income inequality and reducing the influence of money in politics, but her recent experience makes her seem insincere. Is that fair, John? I think it's it, it's a I mean, little. I mean, 200 bit, hours of speech, 20k of speech, that kind of thing. Look, when she says things that seem completely out of touch, like we were dead broke when we left the White House, I think that uh, even though technically true, uh, I think that makes it seem like she can't be the person who is the wealthy, uh, the wealthy woman that's serving the the lower classes. But uh, is it possible to do that? Absolutely. I think I think we've got to wait for her policy agenda. One of the things that I think is really interesting is her staff has been working very closely with the folks at the Roosevelt Institute, many of whom are very liberal on things. Things like regulating corporations and uh, and Wall Street. So, what comes out of that relationship? What comes out of those discussions? What is her big platform? I think we're still waiting to hear Ruth. Ro